ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lewitton, and today I bring you another um, rant commentary-esque video, if that makes any sense. I haven't made one of these since I made that video on Nate420, a classic of mine. <laughs> it's not even that fucking old, I don't know why I say it's a classic. But uh, today I want to talk about something that honestly really, really grinds my gears, because... It involves my favorite video game franchise, which is Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot, my number one favorite video game series of all time. Like, I love this series to death. I've loved it since I was a kid. I've loved it in my teen years. There was a point in time where I literally quit video gaming, but the only games that I would play were the Crash ones. So, the fact that I were to quit video games and still played one specific series, that should go to sh show how much I love this series. And one thing I love specifically about this series is the fan base. And, you know, there was a point in time where there were no Crash games. Like, for a long ass time, it was just nothing. And Crash Bandicoot was basically considered dead. And during those times, where a lot of fan games came into development, that's how Crystal's Wrath was created. I love the fan games as much as the official games, if that makes any sense. Like, Seeing, knowing that there's someone out there who loves this video game franchise as much as I do and wanting to create something new because the developers want to do that's I love that. But like now Crash is back and you know, nowadays you don't see a lot of people making fan games as much. Regardless, you know, I'm still here. I still have been making fan games. Crystal's Wrath is still in development. Um, but you know what, regardless of such... We got some pretty good games after a while. The past few years have been pretty good for the Orange Marsupial. And you know what? I couldn't be happier. I fucking love these games. They're, I, I really do. But what if I told you that there was... Have you ever heard of the story Sonic Gather Battle? Okay, I'm going to just derail for just one second. The, the story of Sonic Gather Battle. It's a Sonic the Hedgehog Man game. And it was a fighting game. But... It contained malware. Essentially, if you tried to type in Google, like, the certain Sonic fan characters, or look up the sprites or something like that, or cheat codes, basically, you'd get, like, this DRM type thing. And, you know, putting in DRM in a fan game, come on. Like, I don't have to explain why that's dumb. It's borderline illegal, for one. Like, you can't just plant that stuff in your fan work. That's just stupid. What if I told you that the same incident is happening with Crash, a Crash Bandicoot fan game? Yeah, you can see why this kind of grinds my gears. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Crash Bandicoot Retro Hijinks. This is what I am going to refer to as the worst Crash Bandicoot fan game ever. And you want to know why? It's the worst Crash Bandicoot fan game ever. It contains malware. Malware that specifically, if you own these two games on PC, I don't. I just have them for the Switch and PS4. Because I'm a fucking nerd. But I digress. If you have those games on Steam, and if you were to launch those games after launching Retro Hijinks, they will basically delete off of your computer. Now, for the most part, this is harmless... It's just deleting files off your computer, but I still think, come on, that is the, that is, you've got to be really fucking petty in order to do stuff like this. And the thing is about the developer of Crash Bandicoot Retro Hijinks is that something I didn't know about, I've been following this guy for years. Like, this guy, the developer of this game, is talented. Like, he's got talent. He's made some really good Crash Bandicoot fan pieces, like really admirable work, but here's the thing, and this is something that I really think that people need to get in their heads, just because you're talented doesn't mean you're a good person, like, like you can be the most talented person in the world, and you can just be a big piece of shit, like do I need to bring up R. Kelly? I don't think I need to bring up R. Kelly, but I digress. Basically, this person, he fucking 
hate the new games. The Activision Crash games, like these games, he fucking hates them, like to death. I'm not even joking, to death. There is a literal picture, like a fan drawing that this person made where he wishes the developers to die. And you'd think that it's a joke at first. You'd think that. I thought that too. The guy, I've gotten into a comment war of this guy. The guy said that he, that these games are forcing millions of fans to suicide. And you know, when you hear a quote like that, your first thought is, okay, this guy is trolling me. This guy is a straight up class A troll. Forcing millions to suicide. Who fucking says that? <laughs> you think that, and then he implants a fucking malware on you. So, yeah, truth be told, do not play this game. I normally, like, I normally don't like to say that. I normally like to encourage people to play new things. I like encouraging fan work. I've been making my own Crash fan game, and I want people to play that as much as I want people to play other fan games. But, you know, when you're this fucking petty, like, if you have a hatred, like, okay, there's one, hating a piece of media, like, to the point where, like, of a burning passion, that's one thing, but, like, when you're fucking putting malware into your game just to delete those files, like, come on, that's... Like, you've got to have some real mental issues if your hatred goes that fucking far. And, you know what? After I found out about this, your boy Loatin decided to do some fucking work. I reported the game on Game Jolt, and it thankfully got taken down as soon as I reported it. <laughs> Which is, you know, I normally don't like doing that. I normally don't like to report people's games and get them taken down. Especially if they're actually looking like okay pretty okay games like this retro hijinks game it looked pretty all right it didn't look like a masterpiece it didn't look i don't want to sound rude but it didn't look good <laughs> but it looked decent it looked like it had potential and seeing how this guy has made some really good work before like like i i think that's a you know it's cool this guy has talent but his freaking immature mentality got the better of him. And you know what? Dude, I really hope that this guy does not release this game. I hope no one plays this game. Because when you plant... Let me tell you something. If someone gives you a file that has viruses or malware, you should not trust that person. That's like... That's like getting cheated on. And like, deciding to trust that person after you're getting cheated on. Like, that's fucking... Terrible analogy, but you get my point? Anyway, I think I've rambled on for long enough. Um, simple answer it is, um, Gaius Raptor, you're a piece of shit. I really do hope that, like, your game, the Game Jolt page, stays down. You, like, I think that you are a talented individual, but I think you are also a scummy piece of shit. Like, that is, and, you know what? I just want to state this for the record, if any of you guys out there hate these games, if you hate these games, if you are the type of people who like the Naughty Dog games and don't care for these games, like, that's fine! That is a-okay, you do you and I will do me. Just don't do scummy shit like this. Like, come on. Like, I wouldn't make this video longer, but I don't want to make it longer than necessary. The point of the video is that this guy decided to put in malware in his crash fan work. Which is just, no. You don't do that. That's just stupid. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. If you want to see more of these types of videos, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later.